Guys, what is up everybody? S-Fan here. Big news today. Big news on the PvP front for Classic WoW. We've talked about six phases of content release. We've talked about, you know, what we wanted for PvP, what we thought would most likely happen. Um, in retail vanilla WoW. In retail vanilla WoW, PvP was put in throughout the course of several patches where uh, you, you had Warsong and Radley Basin and uh, the PvP system wasn't put in right away and it, stuff was basically spread out, right? PvP gear was updated later on. I had thought that realistically what Blizzard might end up doing is just putting it all in at once uh, in one phase or in between phases, uh, but in a perfect world, in a perfect world, they would actually go and they would spread this all out, all right? So the news that we got today about 30 minutes ago was that Blizzard is planning on going through and actually progressively implementing PvP content into the game throughout the course of... Of, of the lifespan of Classic, right? The lifespan of the server on Classic, which is absolutely huge. That's that's unbelievable. I'm I'm so incredibly excited about this because it's going to continue to generate hype. It's going to continue to generate excitement throughout the course of the server. Oh man, Arathi Basin is coming out. Oh man, there's no battlegrounds at the beginning. We're putting in War Song. We're putting in uh, we're 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 putting in AV. I I think for you know what? Let's go ahead and read the post. Let's go ahead and read the post. <clears throat> this is from Bornak, uh, 38 minutes ago, excuse me. Uh, since we broke down the six phases of content that we'll be rolling out for Classic, we've heard the increase in requests for PvP details, so we wanted to get you up to speed on our plans there. As was the case when World of Warcraft originally launched in 2004, there won't be a formal PvP system in WoW Classic at the outset. You'll still be able to PvP, of course, and there will be no dishonorable kills, so you'll be free to repeatedly hunt down every player and NPC and say, Strangled on Veil, to your heart's content. Good. <laughs> um... That'll change once Phase 2 rolls around, we add the Honor System, which will introduce Honorable Kills, Dishonorable Kills, and PvP Rank Rewards. Phase 2 is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is still a little bit gone from PAX East. Phase 2 is, uh, is, is gonna be with Dire Maul and all that. So once Dire Maul rolls out, uh, we will introduce Honorable Kills, Dishonorable Kills, and PvP Rank Rewards. The items you earn from PvP Rank Rewards will be the versions from Patch 1.12. The items you earn from PvP will be versions from Patch 1.12. Hmm. Okay. Keep in mind, though, just as it did originally, it will require substantial time to rank up through the honor system. For those interested in the rank rewards, earning epic gear will require consistent dedication over a long period of time as a top contributor on your realm. We don't expect to see many people running around with these items early on, but we're certain Hills by Foot will still see its fair share of action. So, okay, I, I have some thoughts on this. We're, we're going to talk about this in a second. Uh, in the third phase, we'll introduce the first Battlegrounds, Alterac Valley. Phase 3, this is going to be with BWL. Uh, Alterac Valley. And Warsong Gulch, alongside with the, uh, alongside with their associated vendors. One thing to note is that there were a couple of updates to these vendors over the course of the original patch releases, so some items won't be available right away. Okay, this this leads me to believe something else. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that too, uh, and, and I've talked about it before, but we'll, we'll get back to it. For example, spell penetration trinkets available from Warsong Gulch vendor <clears throat> weren't introduced until patch 1.9, so we're currently thinking that we'll add these in phase five. The Arathi Basin Battleground will follow in Phase 4, along with its specific vendor. It'll be interesting to see how many people stay behind to guard the flag. Yeah, of course, a lot of AFKers. Unbelievable. Finally, in Phase 6, we'll have the World PvP Objectives in Silithus and Eastern Plaguelands, which will come out at the same time as Nax. Uh, it's talking about, like, the tower, the tower event thing. Here's what PvP content looks like mapped out to the phases we've recently posted about. Well, we, can, we can look back at that in a second if we want to. Okay, so Phase 1, while Classic launch, no PvP. Right, or there's going to be PvP, but there's no, no like system right uh this is how it was in retail vanilla wow um pretty much people are going to go they're going to level they're going to kill each other if they want to kill each other they're not going to kill each other if they, know, if they don't want to kill each other that's about it uh phase two honor system dishonorable kills pvp rank rewards so here's my concern right here's my concern um when they say that the pvp rank rewards will be the version from patch 1.12 the armor, the gear that you got in PvP in Vanilla WoW was changed later on. It was changed. It was changed later on in the game. Uh, I, I do think that they need to put the original PvP rank rewards in, and I think that they probably need to update those rewards in patch 1.9. Right? That's that's one side of progressive itemization. Right? Is when items update and, and how they update them. Uh, the other side of progressive itemization is when items are put into the game. Right, uh, you know, there, there's different parts to it. Um, they don't want to put items into the game too early, 
that's what we're seeing here whenever they talk about uh, one thing to note is there were a couple updates to vendors over the course of the original patch release some items won't be available right away that's what they're talking about there so they're not going to put in it looks like you know as a general rule they're looking at not putting in items before they were supposed to be released but the concern here is this I do think that the gear was updated a little bit too late in Retail Vanilla. A lot of people feel that way. When you look back at the original classic content plan, if if they were to talk about when the gear updates, it probably would fall into it, it would I would fall into phase six, right? In Retail Vanilla. Um, I do think, I really do think this, they should put the original PvP rank rewards in, and then they should update it later on, probably in phase five. That's, that's probably what, sh they, what they should do. Um, the reason being is, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Okay, we're going to use, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these blue sets for comparison. Uh, the reason why I wanna look at the blue sets for comparison is because there's actually two separate sets in the game. The epic gear is just, just straight up updated, right? And whenever the gear gets updated, the original blue set is gone. Uh, that is this one, and then I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. The original blue set is gone, and then uh, you can't buy it anymore. You can still wear it, but but you have to buy the other set. Whenever the gear gets updated, uh, it has a higher item level, and item level isn't really a thing, right? It's not really a metric that people use. It is a thing, sorry, but it's not a metric that people use in Vanilla WoW to really judge gear on. Um, item level is a variable that's plugged into a formula. I'm going to make a separate video on that altogether, but... Essentially what happens here is you can see for Paladins, Strength, Stamina, and a lot of plus spell damage, right? A lot of plus spell damage, uh, some crit, all that, right? And this is the blue set. The epic set is, is, is much better than this. Um, but the original set is more, you know, Strength, Stamina, and Agility. Strength, Stamina, and Crit. Um, the suit is just a little bit different, has a little bit less itemization points, you know, 657 armor to 706 armor on the chest piece, for example. Um, <clears throat> with the epic set, the epic set is very similar to this as well, where where it's a lot more like physical damage based, and then whenever they update the epic paladin set, you've got more spell power on it and um, just more stats in general. So, here's the issue. The issue that I have with this happening, right? Items you earn from PvP rank rewards will be the versions from 1.12. Is that you're essentially changing the meta? And I've always said this: the the, the vanilla meta is different. Than the private server meta is different than the WoW Classic meta. It's it's going to be different. But but you're changing the meta in a way that if you that that ranking is going to be something that is um, it, it's it's going to be something that's going to be used to at the highest level, uh, push your rating. Whereas in Retail Vanilla WoW, ranking gear and rating gear were basically two alternative ways to leveling up your character based on how you want to play. That that's essentially what was going on there. Um, I think that's fine in the in in uh, on private servers. It actually works like that too. That's how people do it on private servers. Uh, now the difference here is is that there's no honor system until phase two, right? But if people are Gen 1 rankers, now it's going to be very hard without AV and worse on Gulch put into the game until this point. Uh, which is, I mean, it's going to be very interesting actually playing without Battlegrounds for that long. But this is what it was like, and this is what it was like in Retail Vanilla, and I think, uh, I think it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if you're ranking Gen 1, you know, Bracket 1, all that stuff, it's going to take you about three months to get the gear. So let's say phase two comes out about three months after phase one, after launch. Well, phase three, which is going to be the BWL patch, right? That'll probably come out a few months later. There's going to be people, there is going to be people who, or there are going to be people, excuse me, who are Grand Marshal, who are High Warlord, who have all the ranking gear, who have the updated weapons, all that stuff. Technically, before Blackwing Lair even comes out. Uh, I think this is something that's a big concern. I mean, the original weapons, I think they did about 300 damage, the two-handed weapons, and then they get updated to do, um, like, 353 or something is, is like, the two-handed sword. Uh, if I remember correctly, I might, I might be a little bit off on that. But, um, yeah, I, I do think that's a concern that they're putting in the 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 newest versions, the most updated version of the PvP rewards in this early, uh, as opposed to updating them in, uh, in patch, in phase five, 
Yeah, phase five is when you would do it. One of you add in tier 0 0.5 and all this stuff. Uh, I think that would be the most, uh, the smartest thing that they could do. But, I mean, other than that, this is still really good news. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this. Um, I, I know some of the rankers are probably not going to like this as much. Uh, a lot of people who've been ranking, like, you know, they, they start out, they, they start on a fresh, they start ranking while leveling, they hit 60 and they just grind battlegrounds immediately. But that's just something that we have to know is that the meta of private servers, the meta of vanilla WoW, the meta of WoW Classic, they're all going to be a little bit different. But what they want to do with WoW Classic is they want to make it match uh, retail vanilla as much as possible. So, on top of that, guys, uh, one thing I want to say real quick is uh, I've been doing a lot, you know, outside of the WoW stuff, I've been doing a lot. I will be recruiting. I've begun recruiting for my WoW Classic Guild. So, uh, there will be a link here. I want to I wanna show you guys this. This is my Classic Guild application. It looks like a job application. Uh, I, I'm asking a lot of stuff, right? I'm asking a lot of questions about you. What I would like to do with this, again, this link will be in the description uh, below the video. But uh, I want to know who you are, right? I want to know. I want to know the, the the kind of people applying to the guild. I want to know what happens. If you just want to be like a social player or whatever, that's fine. You can put in an application as well, just so I know, just because, just, just so I know who you are. But what I want to do is I want to have interviews on stream on on my Twitch channel, twitchtv TV. I want to have interviews on stream with you guys. Uh, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be good content. Get to know you guys a little bit more. Um, and uh, there's already quite a few applications in, right? People who've been watching my streams and stuff, there's already quite a few applications in. It's in my Discord. So uh, I'll give you the link. I'll give you the Discord link, the channel link. You can go in there. You can ask questions, join my Discord. There's over 8,000 people in my Discord now, by the way. So a lot of people were really, really excited about WoW Classic. I mean, that's that's insane. Uh, also, something else that happened, I hit 100,000 followers on Twitch a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway this this link's gonna be below too. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for fifty dollars Steam gift card or fifty dollars Battle.net balance if you want that instead. Uh, I'm, I'm giving a few of these away. Don't don't pay attention to the sixteen days left. Uh, what I want to do is I'm gonna announce the winners whenever I do my big hundred k stream, a big hundred k follower stream. So we're gonna give, be giving away some Steam gift cards or Battle.net balance if they want that instead, which would be like three months of game time whenever Classic comes out. So think of it that way. Um, Really, really excited. I mean, thank you guys, man. I mean, to, to hit a hundred thousand followers on on Twitch after after my YouTube ban and all that, like, that's that's totally insane. So, just go there. A lot of you guys are already following and doing all this stuff anyway. So you just you just click the links, whatever, and it, and it checks for them. You know, subscribing on YouTube, clicking the bell, of course, uh, follow on Instagram, all that stuff. So, um, that's all that. Also, I'm packing a lot into this video, guys. I'm packing a whole lot into this video. I'm going to be going to EU TwitchCon in Berlin. I'm going to be going to EU TwitchCon in Berlin uh, here at the end of the week. So if you're going to be there, make sure you come find me. Make sure you come say hi. Uh, very, very excited. PAX East was a blast. I, I think there was like... There, there, honestly, there was probably 60, 70 people who came up to me and, and come said hi. Hey, man, love the classic content. Love all this stuff. So... Um, Really, really cool to see that. I love getting a chance to, to meet with you guys. So if you guys run into me, make sure to come say hi and see me, get a picture. And also, whenever I get back from TwitchCon, we're, uh, we're going to do a big 100K follower stream. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll be doing a PO Box opening. You guys can send stuff to my PO Box. I want to I wanna open it up then whenever I get back from TwitchCon. Maybe if, if we can get the house. We're, we're still working on the details of trying to get this house. Uh, maybe that'll be the first stream in the new house and it'll be a lot of fun. Guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, it's been a blast. It's been awesome. Very, very excited. Uh, I, I think, I, I really do think that the Classic team is doing a lot of really, really good things uh, to get the Classic that, uh, that the community wants, that the people want. So, again, thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll see you guys soon.